Hello and welcome to day three. I'm glad you're still here. So over the past two days, we've been working with mindful breathing, just learning how to pay attention to the feelings of the breath in a relaxed way. So noticing the sensations in the body when we breathe in and when we breathe out. Today, we're going to add another layer to that and we're going to learn how to work with a wandering mind. So what you might have noticed in our first couple of sessions is that when you try to pay attention to the breath, the mind very quickly starts to wander away. The mind will go into the past thinking about regrets or things it's done or things that other people have done or it might go into the future and start thinking about all of the things that you still have to do. Your work and emails and you've got to message this friend and that friend. And so the mind just does this. It wanders all over the place. It's very important to know that when your mind wanders, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. This is just what the mind does. It's what the mind was made to do, to wander and to think. So in mindfulness, we just want to notice when it wanders, and then we want to gently bring our attention back to the breath. This is really how we practice mindful breathing, as we feel the sensations of the breath in the body, and then eventually the mind will start to wander off. And when it does, we just notice. Whenever we wake up, whenever we realize, oh, I'm lost in thought, I've zoned out, and we bring our attention back to the breath, and how we bring our attention back is actually very important. We want to come back with patience and kindness rather than self-criticism or self-doubt. This is something that I really wish I had known when I first started meditation. This would have saved me years of beating myself up and feeling like I was no good at meditating. It's understanding that meditation is not just about being with the breath. It's much more important to be able to be patient with yourself than it is to just stay with the breath because essentially mindfulness is not about the breath. It's about how we're relating to our experience. And so we really want to relate to everything with patience and kindness rather than with judgment and self-criticism. In the guided meditation, we're going to work with this, with learning how to come back with patience rather than noticing that we're lost in thought and beating ourselves up for it. Hello and welcome to our guided meditation for day three. So go ahead and find your comfortable seat. And whenever you're ready, you can allow your eyes to close. Just spend a moment settling in to your posture and your position. And we can begin this meditation by taking a few deep breaths. Breathing in deeply. And breathing out slowly. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in deeply. And breathing out slowly. And doing a quick check in with your body, seeing if there's any tension or tightness that you can soften or let go of. Checking in with the muscles in your face and muscles around the eyes. Checking in with your jaw and your neck and your shoulders and just allowing these areas to soften. Then once again, giving yourself permission to be here without having to go anywhere else or accomplish anything. Just learning to rest 
in the present moment. And then setting the intention to get to know your experience. Really observe what's going on without judgment. And then when you're ready, you can bring your attention onto the feeling of the breath in the body. Just noticing where you feel the breath the most. Again, you might notice the feeling of air as it passes through the nostrils, or perhaps the subtle expansion and contraction of the chest, or maybe the rising and falling of the belly. Just choose a place that is most obvious to you, wherever you can feel the breath most clearly. And use this as your anchor spot, a spot that you can come back to And just tuning into the physical sensations, the raw texture of the breath, bringing your mind down into your body and just noticing the movements of the breath. Eventually, you'll notice your mind has wandered off from the breath and you've gotten lost in thought. And when this happens, just acknowledging the wandering mind. Again, realizing that this is totally normal. It doesn't mean anything is going wrong. So, just acknowledging that the mind has wandered and then very gently, with patience, just bring your attention back to the feeling of the breath. Again, reconnecting with the physical sensations down in the body and just watching the movement just watching how the breath changes from moment to moment Again, noticing when your mind has gotten lost in thought, without judgment, without any self-criticism, just notice that you are lost in thought. And then bring your attention back to the breath.
just notice where your attention is right now. Notice if your attention is with thinking of getting lost in the past or the future. So often we go throughout our life just lost in thought. And so in mindfulness we're actually training the mind to learn how to recognize when we're lost in thought and then we can come back to the present moment training our mind in this skill of coming back and then again patiently bringing your attention back to the sensations of the breath and the body. Just reconnecting with physical senses that you feel. It doesn't matter if you've been lost in thought for five seconds or five minutes. Each time we come back to the breath in the same way, without any self-judgment. To end this meditation, we can take a deep breath together, breathing in deeply, and breathing out slowly. And when you're ready, in your own time, you can gently open your eyes, coming back into the room, getting back to your senses and just taking a moment to again notice how you feel. So great work in learning how to come back to the breath. Tomorrow, we'll be learning a technique that will help us to build our concentration even more in meditation. I'll see you then.